high. We had times when an SSDs were used for high-end PCs. Now most of the guys use 120 gig SSDs in their used budget builds, for example builds with second gen Intel or AMD FX CPUs. But we have another level to unlock, M2 NVMe SSDs. I know, I know, we had SNVMe SSDs for a while now, and the new generation is coming with PCIe 4.0 along with AMD FX570 chipset. It will be able to provide even greater speed. But today we will be unboxing and making a few benchmarks on one of the best value for the money NVMe drives, at least in my opinion, a Data XPG SX8200 Pro. In general, the design of a Data 6PG line could be better, as mostly it's supposed to be used by gamers and PC enthusiasts. A box itself looks like from 90s. So inside you can find a Data NVMe SSD and a heatsink. In case you have more of a budget motherboard, this will help and make your build look a little bit better. Currently I'm using Western Digital Green 240 gig SSD and the idea is to replace it with a data one. Let's mount this NVMe and make some benchmarks. I've tested my current Western Digital SSD and a Data NVMe drive using Crystal Disk Mark. A data claims it should achieve 3500 megabytes per second read and 3000 megabytes per second write speed. But as you can see, test failed to achieve that. Nevertheless, numbers show it's at least six times faster. But how it performs in our daily basis tasks? Firstly, let's check Windows 10 boot time on both drives. Difference is quite minimal, a data performed just a second faster. Next one, Apex Legends boot time. And here NVMe shines, at least in my case. It managed to boot this game more than two times faster. I might make a separate video and dive into much more benchmarks for this NVMe SSD in the future. Is it worth to upgrade? For my perspective, definitely. If you are building mid to high range PC, use NVMe drive, especially prices of such a drives are much more affordable now. And additional speed helps a lot in video editing tasks and gaming. That's it for today. Don't forget to subscribe and click that bell button so you don't miss upcoming content. And see you soon.